So I know Jamel ended up getting a COVID-19. Were you up there when all that happened? I, I left. Yes, okay. I left like you, you lucked out. Uh, I don't know. I've been, I was up there I'm a close to a month uh-huh. before I left. So, you know, I left. You know, I don't know what was going on up there, but I left. You know, I came home, got tasted. You know, everything was okay. Okay, okay. But that's, yeah, I, I left. I, I, I would say I left right, right, right on time. That's crazy what happened over there, though, man. Uh, I, I'm glad yeah. he's doing fine, but that's just, it, it, it's kind of crazy. You, you just dodged the bullet. Barely. Yeah, barely. Because, yeah. you know, we, was all, we, we stayed in the same house together. Oh, wow. You know, we, yeah. One thing different that uh, I had drove my car there to Nebraska. So I, had, I was driving my own car. You know, he drove his own car. But we were running to the same gym and stuff. Have you had a chance to uh, speak to Jamal? Oh yeah, uh, right after you know that happened, he, he texted everybody, you know, uh, you know, tell everybody what's going on, you know, and uh, I just went from there. And got How's he doing? And, uh, hey, are you doing good? Yeah. You know, I just seen the picture of him on Instagram, video of him working out. That dude, he stayed in the gym. He working out. He looks strong. You know, he be ready for his fight. No, you. It's you there now, uh, Jamel, Terrence, uh, Shakur. Mm-hmm. When he's in camp, you know, you guys have a good, solid team there. You know how how is that dynamic with all those guys when you guys are in there training? Uh, just working out with Bud. Period. It's just I was motivation. You know, this be besides one of the best in boxing right now. Then we got Jamel, we got Steven Nelson, Robert Brand. It's a lot of guys, Bubba Carr. You know, but it, it's it's motivation. We all we all want to be the champion. You know, we all want to be there that guy in camp, so we push each other to be, you know, to be the best, to the next level. But it's, it's a good camp to be in, you know what I mean? We are, it's our, first we do the main thing is important, is working out. Then I think we play around, you know, we have fun. So it's just not like we, like in military boot camp or something, you know, we just, we working while we, while we on clock. You guys play pranks on each other? Uh, I won't say pranks, it's a lot of, a lot of roughing, a lot of wrestling and stuff. You know, a lot of, a lot of playing around, goofing around. <laughs> You've um, obviously you're a world champ. You were a world champion. Yeah. You know, you know what it takes uh, right. work wise to get to that level. Um, when you're in there with Terrence, you, you'd mentioned that he just motivates everybody. You know, right. what is, does he do different than other world champions from from you seeing him up close, or or what's different right. about him? Man, he just, he always in shape. The dude always working. I mean, he always, he only got no fight coming, but he in the gym working, you know. He doing everything we're doing, you know. He just, he, he that dude just smart in the ring. I mean, that never seen nobody like that. Never seen nobody who's smart like that in the ring. You know, and he want to be the best in whatever he do. So, I mean, just being around him just made me like, just, just feed, I just feed off of, like, man, that the energy he brings. Like he's gonna be the best with whatever he do. He's just me and him playing chess, playing dominoes, swimming, no matter what. He just he's just that guy. He, like he won't be the more. He don't if you lose, he's gonna be there all night because he's gonna keep keep playing, keep trying. Yeah. Uh, when you play those guys in like video games or anything like that, it, yeah. <laughs> it's frustrating because yeah, like uh they're so competitive like that. They they will not stop yeah. until uh they get the best of you. Um yeah. How do you think you've gotten better because of him and being in that camp and being with Bomac? I mean, just the team, period, even the coaches, you know, the coaches, they they very smart. You know, they're they good at what they do. You know, they want the best in the world, the coaches. And uh, they they sit there, they study, they study boxing, they watch the old fights, they watch, you know, the fights that are happening right now to the day. They watch all the fights, you know, and then they just study student of the game. Then after that, they take it to the gym and they teach it to us. Over and no, you know, we won't move to the next part till we get to uh, get out the first part. Like, a lot of people be skipping over the first part and try to move on, get advanced. You know, like with me, uh, they work with me with my defense. You know, seeing Alice's, I mean, like, uh, when I fought Jose, I won't move with my head. You know, I was going straight forward, even straight, you know, straight back. I was sitting on the ropes like a target, you know. So with them, I'm working on my defense, I'm working on the boxing, I'm working, you know, just everything. It then, because they want me box more, box more, use my jab, use my long reach. So put that to use. And when I'm doing that, you, you know, move my head side to side. So before them, I'll just use my jab and I'm going straight forward, straight back. I won't even rip my DP. You know, I was like, I get hit with one or two to land a big one, you know? And they, you know, they, they're right there, cost me the fight. So they changing me, man. They, they changed the boxing, the, you know, the sport, 
like anybody, look, look at Jamel. He a real champion now when he's still training with them. Like, like they know what they doing. The whole team, they, they work with Bud one-on-one sometimes. And I'm in the back, he walk over there. He sit there and he just watch. You know, about two or three minutes before he say something. He just watch me, let me go. Bro. Two or three rounds, he's watching. He don't say nothing. He tell me what I'm doing wrong. Nah, Mo, you got to do this. Move your head. Step this way, you know. So we turn right here, you know, turn, you know, he just little stuff like that, you know. He, and everybody wants everybody to be great. So that's why it's a good team. Like, nobody, like, I'm not, when I go to the gym, I'm not worried about them uh, giving their time to Bud or giving their time to Jamil or just leave me on the side. Because I, I know that they, they're, they're going to work with everybody. Not just one person that work with everybody. You know, he's just, I just wait my turn, you know. And uh, I'm not being greedy for attention. You know, I know that work for me and anybody else. So when a team like that, I mean, because I want to see everybody, I want to see everybody on the team be great. That's, that's more motivation, you know, to see somebody occur by me in the ring and outside the ring. Why do you feel it, it took to this point to to make the change um, to go over there? And, and why weren't you doing those things before? Uh, see, I met them when the bug fought, uh, fought in uh, Dallas. I'm going to say it's um, somewhere in Arlington at a, at a college. The same, co- the same college I fought in. So I met them. Uh, they called me one day to the gym. And like uh, Bud wanted to spar you, and I went up there and I sparred him. Then the next next camp, they invited me down when he fought uh, uh, for the uh, trying to unify with the WC bill. Well, uh, I forgot, I can't think of his name. In Dongo. No, no, not no. Dongo. Uh, he even gave it to fight Jose Mirez. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I forgot the guy name, the opponent name. He they oh, called me to camp. Yeah, when he fought Postal, I was in uh, camp. I was the main guy for tennis. So they invited me down there. Then I was working with them. You know, and my coach came at the time, Coach Vince came with me, you know, we're all working together. So I was like, man, he's a good team. But, you know, to me, I'm more loyal to my team. And uh, after the fight with Jose, you know, I found out some people on my team weren't being loyal to me, you know. They, you know, they some of them been selfish and stuff like that. So after the fight with uh, Jose Mirrors, you know, I had to do some, I wanted some new with my team, you know. So uh, I had got rid of my manager and, uh, my coach, Coach Vince, this is my brother. And uh, I had to call him, you know, we just going our separate ways right now. You know, him and uh, Eddie, both of them are my brothers. But I just feel like it was best for me to, to move, you know, move on, you know. So I, I won't go to Bud now. You know, I went up there to Bo Mac now. I didn't have a fight come up. I went up there, I fly out there uh, to Omaha. I talked to Bo Mac, talked to the whole team. Uh, I told them what I wanted. They told me what they wanted, what they expect. And I liked it, so I just went with them. Yo, you, yes, you, thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.